is an example of a lever. Hey, what's the lever? What's a lever? Whoa, 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 what's that? Whoa, this is a seesaw, not a lever. Don't worry, Mr. Hippo. I'll explain to you. I want the answer now. Okay, relax. Calm down. Calm down. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to make a seesaw. And, I'm gonna, and after showing you how to make the seesaw, I'm going to show you how the seesaw works exactly. All the parts of it and machines and all that good stuff. So, let's learn how to make this first.
playing on a seesaw. When the human child pushes down, the hippo goes up. But when the hippo pushes down, the human child goes up. So, this is very fun. But do you know, if, if seesaw is a very good example of a simple machine. But before we know what a simple machine is, we first have to define what a machine is. A machine is a tool that makes our work easier or faster. Machines can be of two types, simple machines and complex machines. Simple machines is a simple device that, makes, uh, that is made of few or no moving parts. A complex machine is a, is a machine that is made of two or more simple machines. Examples of simple machines are a pair of scissors, nut a nutcracker, a seesaw. These are all examples of a simple machine. Examples of complex machines are washing machines, computers, cameras, vacuum cleaners. These are all examples of complex machines. So now that we are more close to see the, see the seesaw, let me tell you the fun fact. Did you know that a seesaw is an example of a simple machine? Yes. The lever. It is an example of a lever. Hey, what's the lever? What's a lever? Whoa, 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 what's that? Whoa, this is a seesaw, not a lever. Don't worry, Mr. Hippo. I'll explain to you. Oh, I want answer now. Okay, relax. Calm down. Calm down. I'm going to answer it to you. Okay. So, what? Is a lever. A lever is a is the simplest machine of all. In its basic form, a lever is a rigid rod that can turn freely around a fixed point of support. Hey, I understand that. What are we just gonna call this a fixed point of support? No, of course not. I know what to call this. This is a wheel. No, that's not a wheel. No, but that, that's not a wheel. So, what are these all parts called? Mr. Hubert, just get on this. So, the fixed point, the fixed point around which the rod turns freely is called a fulcrum. This is the, called the fulcrum. Oops, sorry, Mr. Hubert. This is the load. This is the load that needs to be cut, moved, or lifted. And this it's the effort that I am applying. This is the effort that is applied to make the item or object lift, cut, or moved. So yeah. Shut up, birds. These birds are screaming. I don't know if you can hear them. Excuse me, I'm doing a recording here. Shut up, birds. Ah, these birds nowadays. Ah. So yeah. Let me show you an example of a lever. Forget that. Okay. So a scissor is an example of a lever. How? See, this is the fulcrum. This, I'm holding it here. It's the effort. You know, I'm moving it. This is the effort. And this is the load. You put the load in here and you cut it. I'm gonna cut you. I'm gonna cut you. I'm gonna cut you. Nah, I'm not gonna cut you. I'm just kidding. Relax. It's gonna be fine. So, I hope you understand that. So now, I really hope you understand this. If not, I don't know how to help you. So, that is what we call a lever and a seesaw. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you understood and I hope you understood like the lever portion. So thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching it, then please give up a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe to our channel. And share this video with your friends and family. So, you know, you can have fun too, making seesaws. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And we will see you later. Bye!